Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. First of all, I really appreciate these two guys, for supporting me on Patreon. It really means a lot. You can also be my Patreon, to see all other my premium contents. Anyway, today we are going to create this. Open eye Through the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Chemicals collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight Dripping lights Paint the skies All because So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it, Audio Spectrum. I am using the same full HD resolution. But my comp duration is 3 minutes long, so that it can cover up, our whole song. Let's start with adding a background. I am adding an image background, but you can also add any video you want. Place this image in your timeline, and then, press S to open scale. And adjust the size of it. Now press P to open position, and then, press and hold ALT key on your keyboard, and click on this stopwatch icon. It will allow you to add a script to it. In the script area, type W, I, G, G, L, E, bracket open, 2 comma 10, and then close the bracket. Now if you play this, you can see your image is moving randomly. You can also make this image to shake on beats, but I'll create a separate tutorial on it. Now create a new solid. We will call it Audio Reactor. You can make it in any color you want, because this color won't be visible. Let's add a circle mask. Select your solid layer, go to the tools, and then select Ellipse Tool. Keep your cursor into the middle, and start drawing a mask. Press SHIFT, to make a perfect circle, and then press CTRL plus SHIFT to make a uniformed, perfect round circle from the middle. Let's keep its size this bigger, and then, change mask type to none. Now, go to the effects and presets, and search for the, audio spectrum. Add this preset on the solid layer, to create a, audio spectrum. You can choose your music file from this, audio layer. So let's add, our music file. You can download this song, from the link in the description. Add your music file in the project, and place it anywhere in your timeline. Select your, audio spectrum layer and then switch back to the effects tab. Here change their, audio layer to your song layer. And also, change the path to mask one. It will create this audio spectrum to the path you just created. Let's hide this path, so that we can see it clearly. See, it is coming to the shape. Let's adjust few setting to make it look cooler. Change frequency bands to 100 and decrease the softness to 0%. Let's increase the thickness value to 10, and also, change the color to white for both. We will change the color later. Perfect. Now change the end frequency to 300, so that we can have this kind of smooth look. Also, change the side option to side B so that it will only appear on the outside of the circle. This looks good to me. Let's increase the maximum height to 700, so the bands will be bigger in size. Cool, now let's move to the next step. If you select your audio layer, and press M, you can see your mask here. Select this mask, and press, Ctrl plus D, to make a duplicate. Let's turn on the visibility of the mask by clicking here. 
Now double click on the mask anchor point, and transform its size by pressing, Ctrl plus Shift key on your keyboard. Cool. Now go to the effects and presets, and search for the stroke effect. Double click on it, to apply it on the audio layer. And now you can hide the mask again. This time, select the path to, mask 2. And change the brush size to 10. Change brush hardness to 75%. And also, make sure to change the spacing to 0%. It will create a stroke like this. Let's make this stroke size to bigger, by transforming it. Cool. This looks good now. Now we are going to animate this stroke, to make create a progress bar. Make sure you are at the first frame. And then change the start value to 100%. After that, add a keyframe on it. Now go to the frame, where your song is ending. In my case, at the 3 minutes. Now change the start value to 0%. If you play your animation, you can actually see your progress bar is moving, according to the duration of the song. This is what we are looking for. Let's add another stroke inside all these strokes. Select your mask, and press Ctrl plus D. To make a duplicate. Now again, add a stroke effect on it. This time, change the stroke path to mask 3. Select your mask 3, and again turn on the visibility of your mask. Double click on your mask, and transform to something like this. Perfect. Our audio reactor is complete, now let's move to the next step. Let's create a clock timer inside this reactor. For doing this, create a new text. Open the text property, and you will find this source text. If you alt click on the stopwatch icon, you can add a script to it. This is the script, which we are going to paste inside it. Select all, and press Ctrl plus C, to copy it. Press and hold alt key on your keyboard, and click on the stopwatch icon. And then paste it in the script area. Perfect, our clock is working. Select the Move tool, and place your text in the center of this reactor. First of all, change its color to white. And the most important, make sure paragraph placement is aligned to the left, else your text will be bouncing, at some points. Perfect. Also, you are always free to choose your own text for the timer. Perfect. Let's rename this text layer as time, because we are organized people. Select your both layer, right click on it, and then pre-compose it. Let's call it audio reactor, and then hit OK. Again go to the effects and presets, and search for the, for color gradient. Apply this effect on your, audio reactor comp, and adjust few settings. This effect allows you to add four colors to the single layer, that helps to add stunning colors. I am using the blue color shades, 
but you are free to add any color shades you want. Please spend some time to adjust the colors, it is the color only, who add life to your designs. Now, if you select your gradient effect, you can actually see these four points for each single color. If you place these points color to the shape, you can see the color gradient is working. Please take the time, and adjust the colors you want. In case you are not happy with any color, you can change it any time you want. Cool. Now select your layer, and change its mode, if you don't see your mode tab here, press F4 to switch between. Now change the mode to screen. And it will look perfect now. But we are not done yet. Add some details to it. Perfect, let's add a glow effect to the reactor. Go to the effects and presets, and search for the glow effect. Add this effect on your layer, and it will look like this. Now my reactor is more visible, and it looks cool now. This was the first version of our audio spectrum. Let's create the version 2. Select your layer, and make a duplicate of it. Select the bottom layer, and rename it, Audio Rays. Go to the effects and presets, and search for the CC Light Burst 2.5 effect. Apply this effect on the layer, and it will create these light rays on your reactor. Select your layer, and press S to open scale, change the scale value to 90. And it will create some depth into your design. Now change the ray's length to 100, to make it longer. Please note, this version will take much longer time in rendering. So be careful. Let's decrease the brightness of our background. Go to the effects and presets, and search for the hue and saturation. Add this effect on your background, and change the master lightness to negative 85. Also, change the master saturation to negative 100. It will create our background completely dark. Select your bottom, audio reactor layer, and place this glow effect below the, light burst effect. It will add a nice looking, glow to your rays. RAM preview it, and your, audio spectrum is ready. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day.